Holy and Blessed Jesus Christ, the perfect radiance of the eternal Heavenly Father, who enlightens us with joy. As dust draws in upon us and the evening lights appear, we sing our praise-filled hymns to God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Son of God, you deserve that every age joyfully sing your praise, for you give life, and so all the world gives to you its glory. As the day comes to an end, we say together, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Examine me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me into the path everlasting. In the full confidence that those who seek the Lord God are assured of his peace, we say, May the peace of the Father be ours tonight. May the peace of the Son be ours tonight. May the peace of the Spirit be ours tonight. May the peace of all peace that flows from the Father through the Son and by the Holy Spirit be ours tonight and every night. Amen. As we continue to follow the account of the Gospel of John, which described the events of Passion Week, we read tonight chapter 19, verses 38 to 42, where we are told, Later, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Now Joseph was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly, because he feared the Jewish leaders. With Pilate's permission, he came and took the body away. He was accompanied by Nicodemus, the man who earlier had visited Jesus at night. Nicodemus bought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with spices in strips of linen. This was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid, because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. O sacred head, now wounded with grief and shame weighed weighed down, now scornfully surrounded with thorns, thine only crown. O sacred head, what glory, what bliss, till now was thine. Yet, though despised and gory, I joy to call thee mine. What thou, my Lord, hast suffered was all for sinners' gain, mine, Mine was the transgression, but thine the deadly pain. Lo, here I fall, my Saviour. Tis I deserve thy place. Look on me with thy favour and grant to me thy grace. What language shall I borrow to thank thee, dearest friend, for this, thy dying sorrow, thy pity, without end? O oh, make me thine for ever, and should I fainting be, Lord, let me never, never outlive my love to thee. How precious are your thoughts, O oh God, how vast their sum! If I were to count them all, they would outnumber the grains of sand on the seashore. And when I awake, I am still with you. Thus may the peace of all peace be ours tonight and every night. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.